We're gonna see how Riley handles her. I think uh, coming over here, Travis put it in my head that it was like a little one, and I'm seeing it's not a little one. Oh, I never said that it was a little one. <laughs> yeah, but you know what they say, bigger is better, so let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> Wanna go feed Snakies? Yes. Yeah? What do you know? Um, I know. What about owls? Um, it's teeth. It's got teeth? Yes. What, owls have teeth? Like little teeth? That. Oh, like that? Oh, cool. I didn't know that. What else? Um, eagles have teeth. Eagles have teeth too? Yes. Wow, I thought they just had beaks, but I guess they probably do have something to bite with, huh? Yes. Something to grind their food a little bit? Little tiny, tiny teeth inside their beaks? Yes. Ah. And wings. And wings, yes, they do have wings. And eyes. And eyes? And, 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 green. Green? Yes. The green eagles? Green. Oh, like the Philadelphia eagles? Yes. Oh, yeah, they're green. You ready to go feed snakeys? Yes. Let's go. He wanted to feed the snakes. He wanted to help feed the snakes, so. Oh, come on, it's cold outside, but fine. Let's go, come on. Keep that guy warm. Are you so cold? Yes. Oh no, we don't want him to be cold. We want him to be warm and fresh. The snake room is so nice and warm and fresh. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's so nice and warm, huh? So I need to feed the babies. Take these like scissors. Can you see how daddy picks them up? You have to take it like this and hold it like that. You see that? Okay, take those. It's like tongs. Try using two hands. Be easier. Yeah, like that. Grab the rat up here. Okay, grab him. Yep, just like that, just grab him. Pick him up. Oh, get it tighter. Daddy, you, you can do it, try again, try one more time. There you go, good, good, good. Pick him up. Okay, let's see. Go ahead. Not eating. Not eating? Maybe because I pulled him out. Let me try. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's alright, Eli. You, you gotta, yeah, you gotta shake him a little bit. It's alright. You can try some more. Um. Little wings. One of, one of these. One. This one here. Got it. Good. Okay. Then give it to the snakey right here. Okay. No, no, no. Grab it. Grab it. Get the rat. Get the rat. No. Try one more time, please. Thank you. No, one more time. Just grab the rat. It's okay. And then hold it right to the sneaky. Good. Oh, he dropped it. There you go, Hexy. I don't know if she's going to eat it still. Okay, let me see. Let me see. This is Eli's first time trying to feed the snakes. So you gotta come just a little bit of slack, okay? Um. okay I'm gonna get this one, but okay. One. Hold on to it. Don't drop it, okay? You gotta hold on to the rat. Put it in front of her face. Whoa. Good job, bud. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Oh, I don't know if it was in focus. Damn it. It's wow. right. She got it. Eli, Eli fed his first ball python. And it was a cinnamon sunset, bud. You don't, you don't know what that means right now, but... That oh. one? I don't know if that was in focus, guys, but he nailed it. He got it. He fed his first snake. That, that one right there. That's a good one. No, this, this one, yeah. Okay. Yes. Hold on one sec. Go ahead. Don't drop it. Don't... Yeah, good job. <laughs> okay, go ahead, let go. Good job. Yes! <laughs> Honey. Stand up, bud. It's okay, you got it. Good. Good. Okay. Go ahead, give it a sneaky.
Good morning, all you wonderful, beautiful people. Where have I been all your life? No, where have you been all my life? You've been right here with me right now. And we're back. We're back. We're back. Doesn't it feel good to be back? It feels good for me to be back. We're finally, finally caught up on everything. Last night I uploaded a vlog. Last night I uploaded Triple B TV. And I'm finally caught up with the editing. Finally caught up with it. I'm right back where I wanted to be, which is caught up. Finally, I'm, I'm gonna start the morning off with a comment from the Park BMX. Just wondering, are you going to up the amount of content you put on YouTube because of now it's hit and miss? And it's a very good question because it's actually on the video I put up about the uh, thing here. That's the video about the Patreon account that we're gonna be starting in a couple weeks. And uh, it's a good question for that because like, <laughs> you're gonna have to be able to keep up with the content uh, is basically what he's asking, I think. And, yeah, as most of you know, I had been dealing with my, my uncle passing and then right after that my grandfather passing and then all the business stuff I was tied up with trying to get figured out and taking a lot of my time, which is fine, but it also left very little room for me to do all other things, you know, it's, it's like edit my videos. I'm gonna be back on schedule, Triple B TV is gonna be up once a week like it used to always be. For the vlog for right now, I'm gonna stick with Monday, Wednesday, and Friday just so I can kind of keep it consistent. You know, maybe we can expand in the future. Maybe that's where this Patreon thing might help out. Computer screen just died. And I, I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about the Patreon thing. I, I made a video on the Triple B TV. You can go check a look at it there. Actually, I'd appreciate it. You know what? Do me a favor real quick. Let's, let's do a poll right here on the vlog. There's a poll right here. I want to know how many of you are actually subscribed to Triple B TV and how many of you are just subscribed here to the vlog channel. Go ahead and take two seconds and answer this poll real quick. I'm just, just curious. Because if, if you're on both, then I don't really need to talk about the uh, Patreon thing too much. But basically what it is, is is a thing where you guys can help form the channel and help grow the channel. And there will be rewards for you in doing so. I really urge you to take a look at that video and, and it'll explain everything that I'm trying to do. Probably two weeks from now is not a good time to launch Patreon because that's Christmas. <laughs> but... That's, that's what I'm doing. I wanted to, before I launched it, I wanted to get all your feedback because it's all about you guys. It's all about what you guys want. So I wanted to make sure I got all the feedback possible from you before I went live with it and had it set up to the specifications that are good with you guys, okay? So what I got to do today, I got to go to work with my uncle. I gotta, I'm got i going to feed some rats tonight. So I got to put some rodents out to thaw. We're also going to take a look at this girl right here. She's not too bad. You know, there could definitely be worse behaved snakes out there. It's not that she's badly behaved. She's just very scared and defensive and I'll show you what I mean later when we take her out for cleaning and stuff. I've got my shirt in here with her right now so she can kind of get used to my scent but she's still very much a snake you want to be careful with because she's big. If she wanted to she could do a lot of damage to defend herself and let her rest for now but we'll, we'll visit her in a little bit. So I feed, I feed all the babies once a week and I feed all the adults every two to three weeks depending on species and depending on, you know, how they're doing. And the one thing that's a problem with that, well, it's not necessarily a problem, but I'll show you what I mean. Here on Reptile Scan, the app that I use to keep track of all the things I do with my snakes, I've got my little feeding tub, blah, blah, regimen. Oh, come back. This, so these are all my feeding, feeding racks and that, that's basically so I can register all the feedings at once in one solid spot. Obviously the pinkies are all going to babies that get fed once a week. The fuzzies go to babies that get fed once a week. The pups go to babies that get fed once a week. The weaned is where it comes into a bit of trickiness. The weaned and the smalls because some of them are still babies that are being fed once a week on weaned and smalls and male ball pythons that are being fed weaned and smalls only every two weeks. So I've got this nice convenient number here to let me know how many rats I need to pull but I need to figure out which of these for weaned are once a week in which for small are once a week versus twice a week so not super complicated but it is something i need to look at and just one other thing i need to pay attention to and make sure that I've, i'm doing right and feeding the correct amount of animals one two three three adults that are eating weans three adult ball, male ball pythons so out of 11 that just means i need to pull eight wieners <laughs> Eight weaned rats to fulfill today's baby feeding order. So only eight weaned. So six smalls, and out of those six, one, two, three, four of them are adults. So I only need two smalls. Everything else is good. Two pinks, two fuzzies, seven pups. 
I'm not gonna be bringing you guys along to work today or anything, but you can get an idea of what I'm doing at work by taking a look right in here, because this is basically exactly what I'm gonna be doing at another guy's house, is building a little under the house storage area for all his stuff, kind of like I've done for all my stuff right here. Why not take advantage of the space, I thought, and that's what we're doing. I was gonna add some more levels down here and maybe a mid-level here instead of the full height. And then in here I'm gonna be putting up storage hooks so that I can hang things like strollers and random tools and all kinds of stuff like that. I hang on the walls, get them out of here. My cousin's wheelbarrow is gonna get out of here too. I've got plenty of stuff to keep me busy, guys. Plenty of stuff. I think it's time to get a separate freezer for rabbits. We'll just put them up there, let them get all the babies excited for feeding time later tonight. And I gotta go guys, but I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm back from work. And there's there's a couple things happening right now that uh oh. I was just brought to tears a minute ago by someone who sent me a message and wants to just contribute to what I've got going on here. Apparently, I'm not going to reveal who it is. I, I haven't been able to get a hold of him yet. I just read this person's message and I'm going to keep saying this person because basically this person just received a, a large inheritance and wants to contribute to what we're doing here. And <laughs> if I was in a position to decline it, which is what I told this person, I would. And I'm just taken aback. I just, I, it's hit me so hard in my heart right now. Like, <sighs> I, I don't know what to say, guys. I don't even know what it is. I, I don't even know what, what kind of amount of a contribution we're talking about. It doesn't matter. It's the fact that somebody I've never met in person who just, watches the videos and who I have connection with here via YouTube would reach out in that kind of way and just believe in myself and what I'm doing enough to want to do anything like that. And it's just kind of reaffirming with me what I've been trying to push for with this this Patreon thing that I'm about to launch is, is for people that really believe in what we're doing here to, to be able to help and be part of it. And I'm mind blown right now. You know who you are. I know you're watching and <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm so, I'm so mind blown right now. I, I don't even, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna continue on with what I plan to do today, of course, which is take out the Pied Retic and, and get her clean and uh, you can see how I work with handling her. And I'm gonna title this video, How Not to Handle a Dangerous Giant Python. Cause this is kind of the opposite of Garrett's video. Cause this, Garrett did a video with this same snake, how to handle a dangerous giant python. He has a lot of experience doing that. I, I have zero experience handling large pythons like that. I mean, I, I handle large pythons, yes, but I've got very little experience handling ones that are actually defensive and, and are not completely docile because I've worked with them from babies. So it's a very new experience for me. I'm very much a noob in many aspects of life still, which is fun, but it's it's just something. I'm, And I just found out that my buddy Riley is in town, and him and Travis are going to be coming by. Oh, and look, here's the phone call from the person that I was just trying to, that I was just talking about. And I'm going to speak with this person. I'll get back with you guys with the pie retic, okay? Hey. Look, everybody's Riley and Travis. <laughs> you guys know, you guys, you guys know Travis well. You guys should know Riley, too. If you don't remember Riley, he's a keeper down at Santa Barbara Zoo. He just... What just happened? The, the fires, you're evacuating. Yep, we left want, town. We want to talk about how he's dealt with that, of course, but first thing we're going to do is get this big pied retic girl out for cleaning. And I was trying to figure out how we should do it, like if, if we should all be in the room or not, or just because she's so defensive, I didn't want her to get freaked out by a bunch of people. And then Riley signed up for the task. 
so we're gonna let Riley. We're gonna see how Riley handles her. I think uh, coming over here, Travis put it in my head that it was like a little one, and I'm seeing it's not a little one. Oh, I never said that it was a little one. <laughs> but you know what they say, bigger is better. So let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> let me tell you what I've been doing. I've been so obviously I, I've got this tub to put her in while I clean the enclosure. Okay. And um. <laughs> How many times has she done that? Is she starting to get your routine? Figured yeah, she's out? got this is this will be her fourth time going in this tub, I think, since so the fourth or fifth time. So it's fourth. not completely brand new. Not completely brand new. No. The okay. first time first time I had her, she came I, I had her coil came up here over my shoulder like this, and she I let her turn back at me and didn't try to maneuver at all. I just kinda of watched to see what she's gonna do. And she just came right I don't know how she I still don't know how she didn't hit my face. But she tagged her own coil right next to my face, like right there. Like Interesting. Bah! I was like what just happened? So this experience is still rather new. concerning and unusual for her, but it's not brand new. Not brand new. And what, I, what I've been doing, I mean, I can help you in whatever. I was going to film for you. Yeah, go for but, it. But here, I'll show you what I've been doing. And yeah. Travis is here too, so he can help out. But I've, I'm just kind of concerned with the space of the room and how many people. We'll make it work. What I've been doing is putting this little thing up here so I can guide her head in and let her crawl in. And then okay. once she gets her head in, I'm letting that down yeah. so she can crawl inside. Okay. And that's what I've been doing. So yeah. here's a hook. That'll be our game plan and, and then we'll improvise as needed. Because <laughs> that's likely to happen. What I recommend is slow movements. Get her get her running. I mean, yeah. You're, not you're, reaching in hand first. This, this guy's a professional <laughs> reptile <laughs> handle. I don't know why I'm explaining things to him. I'm just gonna well, let him you do know it. the animal better than I do, so I like hearing a little bit of True. A little bit of the history. It's good to know the animal you're dealing with. There's all these quirks and I've never met this snake before. Hold on. Let me uh, get this open for you. You gonna stick that thing in there? Are you gonna do that? You gonna try the technique that I just told you yeah. about? Yeah, I'm okay with okay. giving that a whirl. If you think that seems to work, let's do it. All right. I'm just gonna stand up here. How are we doing? Oh, we got some tongue action. We're okay. How are we doing? Just be careful with her, bro. Let her turn on you. It's okay. There you go, she's running. All right. You want to go hands on and I'll take the hook, help guide her face in. I just need to be able to see where she's at, that's all. She's down by your left knee. I'm okay with that. Here we go, you're all right, girl. It's okay, it's just a tub. I prefer hands to hooks, honestly. Yeah, me too. At this size, it hooks almost in the way. Yeah, once I get it running, I usually just put the hook down. There you go. Well, and every bit of gentle care that you can give during this situation, it's always good because they're still experiencing this and they're loading this experience into their database of experiences and they're going to remember that. Cool. All right. That was, that was pretty scuffery. Yeah, got her in. Oh. All right. No, no bites, which is of course the end game and uh, the snake is not too horribly stressed out, right? That's, that's yeah, the, also the Yeah, goal. they remember that and they, they hold on to that stress. So if this event becomes a not stressed thing, each time it gets better and better. Right, right. So obviously I've got my, my shirt in there. Taming the beast. Uh, I mean, there's magic in this shirt. It is. It's there. It is. I can, ooh, I can smell it. <laughs> Look at this, he's not only going to handle my snake for me, he's going to clean it up too. This well, is awesome. He can't leave it there. Well, I had him in my house. I had him clean all my cages today too. <laughs> so we just 
<laughs> oh, I see what happened. Y'all started the fire down in freaking Ventura. That's why I'm here. All right, all right. Yeah, after that last gig when I was your temporary cameraman, you're like, if Riley could do this full time, that'd be great. <laughs> I should have seen the signs. <laughs> I'm gonna finish cleaning the tub. Riley's gonna tell you about his experience in evacuation during a fire with animals. Yeah, um, that's a new one for sure. Uh, I, I had plenty of heads up and I, I don't like fire. Fire makes me scared, so. Fire bad. <laughs> Life good. Put together a list of every single animal that I had, what size enclosure would work well for them, how big they were, basically to get a, an idea of what I needed and, and what containers and pillowcases that I had would work. So then I could figure out what was missing. And then I immediately went out, bought pretty much every pillowcase I could find from Kmart, which was not cheap. And then just set bags and cups and clean transport equipment next to every enclosure ready to roll. Additional heat, um, water, Hides, paper towels, uh, cleaning additional stuff. Additional heat, that was uh... I actually have a bag that has like four different sizes of rolls of brand new heat tape in there. The the unions, the hole punchers, all of the tools I need. If I wanted to run an 80 foot strip of heat down Travis's hallway, I could do so. Um, heat packs, uh, feeding tools, whatever I need. I even grabbed a small colony of roaches for the monitor. Um, basically, if I, ha if I needed to to be away for four days or something. I had food, I had water, I had heat, I had clean pillowcases, um, and everything extra that I could possibly need, and then some, so I just went through every scenario possible and had it all ready to roll. It pays to be prepared. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put her back in, and I'm gonna let you guys kinda stand somewhere where, cause my technique is a little more, if, if she starts to turn around on me, I, I, I turn with her. So yeah. I, I might be turning towards you guys, so just, be aware of that. Good shield use. So I, li I like to get her running and get her so where she's not, doesn't look like she wants to turn around on me and wants to actually go away from me. And that'll minimize the chance that she's actually gonna get her teeth on me. And right now she isn't doing that yet, but I'm just gonna kind of assume that she will run from me and turn the other way. My bad. Got it? Yeah. What do you need then? Um, I'm good. That was my fault. There she goes. In. Only one incident. My my one regret from that experience is that the tub kind of fell off the couch and hit her hit her on the neck area, and I I didn't like that. I wish that hadn't happened, but she didn't bite me. She's back in. I'm really looking forward to the time when we can take her outside and get her really used to being handled, and that'll be a great time. That'll be a great time. All right, I think we're good. Time to go do a podcast. Oh yeah, it's, the lighting's awesome. Dude, check out Travis's house. Very festive. Woohoo! Alright, so we just finished the podcast with Port City Pythons and Joe Felon. Phelon. Joe, you're gonna have to remind me how to say your name properly. Check out the link below, please, for his channel. Great dude, awesome to talk to, easy to talk to, love people like that. Uh, thank you, Joe, for having me on. 
and we're gonna be done here for the day maybe if Riley's still here tomorrow we'll take a look at all the snakes that he has here uh, hold up at Travis's house while we let the fires burn down there in Southern California and we've still got a lot to talk about guys still got a lot to talk about um, please go look at this video too right here to find out more about what's going on with the patreon thing and yeah we'll see you guys soon all right Riley got anything you want to say to the people stay safe out there please fires no joke oh my to the left is Bel Air. To the right is um, is that Brentwood? Is Brentwood? I can feel the heat. Yeah. Oh my God.